I'm Luther from the Big Blue Sun Museum of Solar <laughs> Cooking, and I'm here in Lubbock, Texas with uh, Janie McNutt, whom I've known since 2009. I was trying to figure out how Yeah, yes. uh, 11 years. Janie is my coffee companion because of her passion for solar cooking, just like me, and uh, uh, has been involved with uh, producing, selling, and is looking into developing uh, some, some more solar cooking for the world. And uh, so I'm glad to be here to, to talk to Janie about that. Um, the, we just share a passion for solar energy and solar cooking in particular. And Janie's graciously agreed to talk for as long as it takes to say what we need to say about it. So just the first thing I want to talk about, well, thanks for doing this. And um, the, the big question is, where did it all start? And I know that Sam Irwin was big, but you also had connections with Barbara Kerr and of course uh, Alan Viva, which we'll talk about later. But starting with Sam, how did that, how did that start in the solar shop and so forth? Well, in um, 1997, I decided I wanted to build a uh, house with solar and wind. And I was still working at uh, teaching French and Spanish at a university. And um, I started researching on my uh, spare time and I came up with a vertical axis wind generator. So I uh, created a company called Wind and Sun Inc. because I believe in wind and solar together. Sure. Um, and there was a Earth Day happening in 1998 in Austin. So I thought maybe I could get a supporter for my vertical axis wind generator because I wanted to build a house around it. I had um, a design with this house around so you've got this vertical axis wind generator power in your house but it's part of the design. So I went to Austin with this and Earth Day was held in a park. And so at this park in the middle of Austin, there was a lady running around with piping hot chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, where, where did you get these cookies? Because you had to, there was nobody had any electricity whatsoever. And she said, oh, let me show you. So she took me to the star flower. She had a 36 inch star flower there, which is this one right here. This is, she had one of these right here, the metal one without these petals, just that. So she was baking fresh cookies all day long and getting them out. And I said, I've got to have those. So I told her, I said, I have a company, Wind and Sun Inc., and I want to order 20 of them. She said, because I knew I could sell them. And she, this is 1998, Austin, Texas, in March. And I, she said, um, sure, let me get back with you. So she called me, and she called me a week later and said, I've talked to the inventor of this oven. His name is Sam Irwin. He lives at that time in Oregon, uh, Milford. Mil Mel she said, but the problem is that he makes a wooden one. He's not making the metal one that I showed you yet. And I said, oh, okay. And she said, he's making a wooden model called the Solar Chef, and he has an order for 204, and he makes them two a month in his garage. So she said, could you manufacture these for us? And I said, I think I could. <laughs> so I got some guys together, sent two of them up there to meet with Sam to learn how to do it. One of them was a, a, the money guy and the other was the hands-on guy. And Sam loved him. He, I mean, he, 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 Sam was showing him something and he was way ahead of him. So these two guys came back and actually just one of them ended up being my partner in Silver Chef. And it really, I don't think happened until 19, yeah, 1998, December, we signed with Sam of a five-year agreement where we had the whole United States a license for the whole United States to manufacture these. So we began to manufacture them, and um, Sam came down twice to show us how to do them in our shop, which is um, not far from where we're sitting right now. 
Um, we had 20 acres of land, and it used to be an old emu farm. Yeah. And um, the emus were kept in the back, and so to make our solar ovens, we had to scoop out tons <laughs> of emu poop. So it was like, oh boy, we, we paid for this uh, you know, manufacturing. So we, um, in, two, in 1999, so this was 98 when we started, 99, um, I got a call from Nigeria. And uh, this man said, if we brought you to Nigeria, would you bring one of your ovens so we could talk about manufacturing and selling them there? And um, we, we had already done 200. So we lacked, uh, we had completed Sam's order and we were getting more orders, but not, not many. Um, so, because already by two, 1999, people were understanding that the Y2K, because we were getting these orders, Sam was getting these orders because of the Y2K, scare. Sure. But people by the time 19, they were, it was slowing down. So we only got about 30 more orders in the next two months after we started manufacturing for him. And um, so I talked to my partners and we decided to go. But we didn't get the orders because his government, we were there in March, 1999, and his government changed in May. And so when we, we walked away from, we, we took a wooden one there. We packed up a wooden solar chef and left it there. Um, but anyway, so when that happened, um, my partner said, um, I don't think I want to do this anymore because we are, our orders are, so then he left, Sam gave me the exclusive rights to do Solar Chef, and that's how you know Sam and I really got close because the other guy left, uh, not on good terms. But um, anyway, so Sam and I, uh, he came down again, and I, I made those 30 or 40. I had to get all new people because the guy took his, his people. But I learned how to make the Solar Chef every single part I could make of that wooden solar chef. I was really proud of that. Um, it, it, it was a difficult thing. And so at that point, I said, Sam, can I start making your star flower? Because that's the one I had seen in Austin. And he said, not yet. He said, unless you can you know, get some really big orders. And he, he was just real old school. I really wanted him to, I, I said, if you just let me put it in a magazine, I can get 100 and we can start. He said, no. And so we struggled along, both he and I, I talked to some, I would talk every so often to people. We only manufactured there for three years. And then I had to, I had to go back to teaching French and Spanish at Texas Tech. I loved that, but that uh, was not my first choice. My first choice was to take these to Africa and, and fulfill dreams that he had and I had of, of helping people, really helping people. Because that's why we were called by the Nigerians is that our solar oven is it's not a slow cooker as some are which are great but but the nigerian uh, we went to the minister of women and she interviewed us she had seen a solar chef in um, new york and she said we uh, our ladies can't stay in the with the with the slow cookers we need something that will cook in real time so that they can get back in the fields and she had seen ours did that so that's why we were called to to I retired and I, and I kept all, uh, you know, I, all this time, I, I, since 2000, it was 2001 when I went back to teaching and I still manufactured uh, for a, another year at, at our shop, but um, it, the wooden one was a very difficult process. It has glass in it, which is good, but it's quite a, a labor uh, intensive process. This process with this metal one, and I love the star flower. Um, and, you know, because it breaks down and um, I've taken this model to New Zealand, um, put, put it in a 20 by 20 box, even with the, uh, not, no, not this base, but the metal base. Sure. And, um, you know, flew 17 hours on the plane with my solar oven in, in tow and um, showed it there and then came back 17 hours um, taking it. So, so it, it packs up in a smaller you know, whereas the, the wooden solar chef uh, would have to be a four by four box. Yeah, one piece, yeah. 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 That's the one you have, yes. that you've been using. Yeah. So, for some reason, I had it in my brain backwards that you saw the solar chef first, 
But she actually was the star. It was the star flower because yeah. I probably never told her that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she had the star flower there. Yeah. And well, and you've also uh, encountered uh, Barbara Kerr, the original Solar Cookers International. You know, when we were group. selling the yes, yeah. when we were selling Solar Chef. I talked to her a couple of times. I can't remember. And Joe Radabel, I think I sure. saw. I yeah. think I sent him two of ours. Um, I don't know if he still has them, but anyway, you know, those guys because of Sam, because Sam' first advertisement was in Mother Earth, and then he got with Home Power, and Home Power gave him free advertisement. They believed in his solar oven so much. Wow. Wow. And they actually, when I came on board, they gave me free advertising as well for sure. a whole year. Well, and I, I know that almost every reference, if someone has a solar chef, because that was manufactured in some numbers, this is on the boards. Right. But everyone that refers to solar chef, they call it a work of art. Yes. And so with that, this is even more artsy in my book. It <laughs> um, is. Uh -huh. yeah, maybe describe just a, a few of the design choices he made to give it the kind of power that it has. Okay, and, I will. Yeah. So this, the, the mechanism of Sam's solar oven is all the same, it, except the wooden one. All right, so the sure. wooden one you had yep. is, has a, just a flat that you have to adjust. Yeah, there's a little tap. Yeah, a little tap. On the well, inside. He, the first improvement, and the star flower that I saw had that. So the first improvement that he made was this, uh, so that you would uh, move the oven this way, up and down and around. And when you have on the lid, then uh, the star flower that you had has a little uh, wooden piece of, piece of wood, yep. and that's the sundial. So you yep. look at that and it's sort of shadow and that tells yep. you in our instructions that I created for it. Sure. So, but our sundial is here now so that we just look at that and we get the shortest shadow uh, from the knob. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter what kind of knob sure. you have on there. You so you've got, and you just release and it locks in place. So you, and then that never moves. And sure. so as you can see, um, can you see that deep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, as you can see that this can hold, this one can hold a two gallon pot. The larger one that you're getting can hold a three gallon pot. But um, usually he puts about a gallon of water as Sam would test these and the gallon of water will boil in, um, boil in yeah. about um, an hour. And then Sam would put and take this off and he would put just a glass, a Pyrex top thing mm -hmm. over it. And it would boil through um, through the dark once wow. it got started in here, and um, you just so you don't even he, he would take this off and just put a Pyrex top on the on the pot because uh, he loved experimenting with sure. boiling water. So, but that's one of the improvements. Also, this is the very newest one right here. The original Solar Chef and Starflower was just this small, like this. Mm -hmm. So there's 10 of these uh, petals, and these are called power petals because Sam lived in Oregon and Washington, and he last lived in Washington. He, uh, he needed power for when the sun's hurt was low, and these would boost the power 35 to 50 percent. And, and so he could go really, really low, and he, he lived between two huge trees in, in his garage where he would pull this out and put all of his ovens that you will see in a minute. Um, so he would, it, he could get, he, he, would, he would time it so that he would start cooking between the two trees and then he would go as low as he could and he could cook all year long. Uh, we has a, I have a video in February where he cooked a cake in less time than normal, like at four or five in the afternoon. Sure. Uh, just crazy stuff. It's in my house, we were in a city neighborhood, and we have about 15, 20 feet between houses. And I'll set out a cooker when it, like the, the simplicity of it, we'll cover later, uh -huh. in the shaft of sunlight between our houses, and I have to move it every 20 minutes. <laughs> right, exactly. So, yeah, so okay, that's relate, exactly. Relate, he, that. he knew how, at what time of day this tree's shadow was here, he knew exactly sure, sure. What, what that was. Well, and, and I remember you told me once to repeat this for me, because I remember how he figured out the right angle for the, for the reflectors. He, it was a scientific, uh, uh, and when I was up there, I, somebody must have taken his machine, because he had a machine where he would, um, 
do laser beams and he, he knew exactly each one of these are like a diamond and he also one of the improvements that is on this one you may not be able to tell there he bent this up a little bit there's a crease in it now the ones you have don't have that crease but but he figured out that the flat surface was was losing some power because how he each one of these angles and and the one thing when we talk in manufacturing sam would say you have to have this exactly at this angle you have to have this or it doesn't perform so the angle was extremely important and that's uh, everything is is made from that the idea with these arms which come off on this and i'll show you that sure. but um the so then then through this type of laser he saw that wait we're wasting some so he bent these up just enough to have all the power it's like a diamond yeah. that all the power just just each one of these just um multiplies mm -hmm. the power and so there's no hot spots whatsoever mm -hmm. And everything cooks. Um, it gets all the light into the cooking. Yes, monitor. yes. And he's, some of his, one of his new designs that I have out in the shop, which I just found, I found it, was where you would just drop a, a stainless steel bowl in there that, that you're reflecting from the bottom and from the top, just sure. like a parabola. Uh, par 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 parabola, sure. Yeah. yeah. Parabola, that's what <laughs> parabola. I like to call it. Parabola. Sure. But, um, Anyway, so that's the that's the design, and I think those. Uh, although I brought from you know um, Sam passed away in November, mm -hmm. November the fifth, and and so he actually had agreed in November, early November, to go to his son's house in end of November. He lives in Fort Worth, so he called me and said, Jamie, um, you've got to come up, and you've got to get the stuff in my garage and you and I will pack stuff together and I'll show you the new, what I've done you, and we'll, we'll pack it together. Well, he was gone in a week. Uh, and, and I, um, so then a week later, I did go up there and pack up everything that he had in his garage, 50 years of work. It's um, all here. It's, it's all here. It's all yeah. here. Everything that I could possibly pack up and more. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the the history is amazing because he because he he started this in the sixties or seventies. Seventy nineteen seventies in Sedona, yeah, yeah. his Sedona solar shop. Sure. And here's a six foot. It's going to be like, right. yeah, a Sedona solar shop. So the miracle he's got his laptop. He uh, he gave away. He loved that six foot one. You'd have mm -hmm. to. He would have to. He had a um, ramp that went up into it. He was, yeah. Yeah. That's it. No, this is, this is amazing and. Uh, the one reason I'm doing this, of course, I mentioned before we hit the play button or record button is uh, being able to have this history available for people who want to pursue solar cooking. It's just so important. And so I hope to do more of these with other cookers around Absolutely. the country. Yes. Uh, and this is massive. So we'll we'll uh, take a pause here and move over to look at some other cookers in a little bit. And we'll talk about the variations on, on this star flower. Uh, but thanks, and we will we'll be we'll meet you at the other side of the room. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Great. What is? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, because solar is my passion. When I retired from teaching in 2017, when um, I retired, I decided that I could get back into solar. In 2000, in two, in 2000, when I was trying to sell solar and the solar energy, um, it was quite expensive. But I still was able to, to get some people interested in solar. Um, but then my folks became the star flower, and the, I mean, the solar chef in 2000. So in 2017, when I'm retiring from Texas Tech and South Plains College, I um, said, hmm, let me look into solar again. I kept up with Sam with other things. But um, so I, when I understood what solar was now, I mean, it was way cheaper it was the the panels were so much better so it was like oh my gosh this is what i'm going to do but i'm going to do it right so i started taking classes online from solar power international in paonia um, colorado i'd taken one class from them before when i was uh, working on the solar um, before the, 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 the solar shed Anyway, so I, I've taken enough classes. I had two certificates in uh, solar uh, installations and batteries and uh, commercial solar. 
So I have two certificates, so I, I know what I'm doing now. And so then I sell solar energy systems and I try to put wind with it still because I still believe in wind, especially in West Texas. So that's what I do right now. But I have two shops in um, where we're standing in one of them. Next door, I have another shop where all my solar chef stuff is. So my dream, and we'll talk about the future later, but, but my dream is because I'm still in solar, all of this is a one picture of, of uh, my passions. So that this, my passion is solar chef and solar cooking. That is absolutely my dual passion, I'd say, you know. Sure, sure. <laughs> All right, and so my company is called Solar Tech Energy Solutions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Well, let's see what the other star flowers look like. Okay. We'll walk over here. Mm -hmm. So what you're seeing here, first of all, this first one right here is one that um, Luther is taking home. He has purchased our one of the only five prototypes that I have from Sam Erlin. So his is um, a larger model than the model you saw over here uh, before. The model, the star flower that, uh, with the yellow, the yellow star flower is 36 inches and this is 48. So it's four, it's four feet in diameter. And but it works the very same so that we have, you know, nothing, uh, the, oh, this one is, but anyway, it works the very same. The petals come off, uh, off. Uh, but this is a, a substantial uh, covering so that when you put, you can cook turkeys in these, you can put up to, I think, a 20 pound turkey in this one. Wow. You can cook a 12 pound turkey in the 36 inch. But this one, I'm almost certain. I've got pictures of Sam cooking one sure. in, in uh, one of those bags. Which So then, um, this is another. If you um, can come back, this is Sam's last prototype that I'm not sure, and I wish I could have trained with him. He's made some design changes, and I'm going to have to figure out what those design changes are. I know they have a purpose, and I'll have to go back through all of my talking with him. But um, it has, if you will notice, if you will show the base, the other one has a wooden base. The one Luther is taking, and this one you're seeing right now has a wooden base, and it, it works really, really well because it does the same. It's it's a um, lazy Susan, and then this part goes up and down and locks into place, and then you lock the lazy Susan with just a um, knob, and um, there's a place underneath for storing all the pedals because all these pedals come off, like I'll show you uh, in this. If you want to come over to this one sure. then. Okay, this is this is how these come off. They're, they um, they just screw out right here. You, I've already taken the pedals off of this one, so it takes just a minute to because they're in there. So then each one of these come off. And you then have, and this, this for transport, like when I went to um, New Zealand, the smaller one, I put in a 20 by 20 box because I did take the, the, the base off of it. But these can, still can be, you know, they're much more portable than, than the, the wooden one, the one you have. Yes. You know, you'll see the difference. But, but this one also has, if you want to, sh I want to show them and this one over here had it. Okay, this one also has a, oh yeah, this one. It has a fan in there. So um, if you can see the fan, it's it's a little bit from, from a bit. This, this fan will, is attached to a, a 5.5 um, or 0.5 kilowatt um, solar panel. So it becomes a convection oven. So that the it circulates the air in there, and you can you can cook like on a convection oven with just one small solar panel retained in there. Sure. So this is the another smaller star flower that was Sam's, of course, and this is his. Uh, the other one has a Lexan dome, and there really is no emissions from that. But we will probably also offer the glass dome. And this is Sam's. This. We wrap these up, but 
This is where Sam took the big ones and bent them. Mm -hmm. So I, of course, haven't tested this one out yet to see, but it works well on those to, to, to see. But, um, you know, because Sam, these were the last person to test these was, was Sam. And then I brought them here. I, I feel such a, um, a nostalgia or an attachment that sure. it's, it's really hard to, to explain. Yeah. All right. Okay, now the future. Yes, future. <laughs> So, because of Luther Kruger and all of his coming to Lubbock and uh, all of his his um, solar 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 connections, he came to Lubbock two years ago, and he had this model here called the Simplicity, and he had it in the back of his car because it folds up to this shape. And he told me about it, and I said, that is fantastic. I said, that's the closest thing I've seen to my oven and the power that I know that we can get up to that, the model over there with those power pedals in Denver, um, I got up to 550 degrees and cooked uh, brown rice faster than the, uh, the regular recipe called for. So I knew it because the idea is the more uh, space you have that is reflected, the higher, the higher temperatures you can get. And so, you know, our model is portable, but this is, this is completely portable. So I said, hmm, let me see what this is about. So he, um, Luther pulled this out of his back of his truck, uh, back of his car, and put it together in half a minute. And I said, okay, I, I need to know about this oven. And he told me uh, who made it, a man in France named Alain Vivas. And French is one of my passions. I talk French and I speak French fluently. And I said, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to contact Alain and see if he has a manufacturer for his oven here in the United States. So this time I found him on Facebook. So I wrote him immediately on Facebook and I said, do you have a minute? And this was a year later, one whole year. And I said, do you have, hello? And I wrote him in French. And he wrote me back in English, but I wrote him in French. He said, I would love to, I said, we make the star flower and we want to make it. I'm, I'm looking for investors for manufacturing. Let me just put that in because that's part of what, uh, what, I, what I've got here. I've got everything ready, just need some people who believe in this. But he said, yes, I would like to talk to you about manufacturing in the United States. And so I, I don't sit still. So then I said, well, let me come to France. So let me see how you manufacture. And so I invited myself to France. He accepted. <laughs> and I took some friends and we went to France in September. And I spent uh, four days at his place. And we went to the different, he's got three different places where he manufactures these. And he took me to all these three different places and introduced me to the people to see how his simplicity is manufactured. And then I uh, rearranged, um, I am called simplicity.us. Alain's website is simplicity.fr. So he allowed me to become simplicity.us. And so I'm working on that website where I can start selling these here because I believe there is no competition. I believe that if somebody once gets one, they want one of each because they do different things. They, they have different purposes, but they, I, I love cooking with both. Sometimes I, in fact, right up front, I, I cook with both of these and I'll cook rice in one and a steak. This cooks steaks really well. You know, you just throw a steak in there, no water, nothing, and in a few, not too long, you do need to top over a cup of top. Um, but it makes its own juices. It's just incredible how it cooks. So uh, I love both of these ovens so very much. But, sure. Yeah. Well, would uh, would you want people to contact you? What's your your website? I have a website. It's uh, solar chef dash solar dash chef dot com. solar dash chef dot com. My email is jamie at solar dash chef dot com. Or I have one with the other. But yes, if anybody's interested in learning anything else about the solar ovens or working with me in any way to, to, to bring solar cooking more to the forefront in your area, 
Um, no one here knows what this is. I took the Starflower in 2014 for 14 weeks every Saturday. I cooked cookies at the farmer's market downtown. And people, oh, I love the comments. You know, they thought it was a uh, yard art or but until they smelled, uh, saw the cookies <laughs> cooking and smelled them, you know, so there's people that just don't understand what solar cooking is. Sure. I'm an educator, so I'm, I'm into educating people. We're gonna have classes here. Before the uh, COVID thing happened, we already had one class in solar cooking and uh, aquaponics and um, water management, which is really a big thing here. I, I, have, I believe in aquaponics and plants and growing that way. So once we're free, we'll have more classes here and we'll be cooking outside and I'm going to, to adapt um, solar brunches that Luther does, hopefully. Great. Yeah. Well, what I love, Luther, is that um, I've learned so much more about you. He spent two days here, and we, we had lots of time before, but I understand so much more about your passion for solar, and I want to get hooked into that completely. So whatever I can do to, hook, to get hooked in, to stay hooked in, Besides, he's going to be testing my, my bigger oven here. Sure. So um, that's, I'm, that's what I'm excited about, is learning learning how to do what you do here. That's, sure. that's what I would like to so do. So I need to get on your solar brunch invite list. <laughs> yes, you do. You do. So, that's right. Great. Well, I think we'll call that a wrap. It's, uh, it's so much fun to see. I mean, I'm just amazed that Sam had, I mean, these are five, six variations. There's probably another half dozen out there. Yeah. Or more that, that he would give away or right. promote. And, Right. So forth. And it just it just illustrates even with one basic design how different they can be, how much you know, mm -hmm. just a little tweak here and there and they can become so much more powerful. So yes. uh, this is this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you.